The Volumes of Truth, Volume 7. Churches of Men, Hear the Word of the Lord. Section 3. Bitter Doctrine. September 9, 2009. From the Lord, our God and Savior. The Word of the Lord spoken to Timothy. For all those who have ears to hear. O churches of men, how long shall I suffer you? How long will you devour corrupt fruit, and consume bitter doctrine, and then in turn serve it to my children? For from the grapes which bring forth wrath, do you produce wine? And from the fruit of wild grapevines, do you drink? Leaving your mouths dry, and your palates bitter. Cast it out. For as it is written, you cannot drink from the cup of the Lord, and from the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the Lord's table, and of the table of demons, says the Lord. Yet I hear you saying, We do not sup with demons, nor do we drink from their cup, and we have never served rotten food. Therefore, thus says the Lord, My anger is kindled against you, O churches of men. My discipline is prepared, and made ready, and shall be most severe. On account of all this blasphemy I have heard from your lips, and because of all these heresies, of which you have readily accepted, from all these haughty scholars, teachers, pastors, preachers, ministers, and priests, who have set themselves up as an authority, who as the Pharisees of old, have lifted up their heel against me. Church leaders, let my people, go. No more feed them for I alone, shall feed them. Let them go, so I may purge them, and make them clean. Let them go. Let my children come out and worship me, in a place set apart. For they are my treasure, and I shall surely steal them away, even all in whom I see of myself. Those who have received of me, in sincerity and in truth, humble and penitent, with a new heart, and a contrite spirit. Indeed. From the beginning I have set up prophets, and exalted my servants in accordance with my will. Yet who among these did I not first abase? Can any man be humbled, without first being brought low? And who among you, who wears a crown, shall not have it struck from his head? Shall not his pompous robes and fine apparel also be stripped from him, even in the sight of many witnesses? For there is but one who wears the crown, only one, who shares it with the worthy, Yet among the churches, I hear only a hissing at this word, though it has proceeded from my own mouth. Therefore, know this, and also understand, O foolish and slothful people. Though you forbear, I will continue to speak. And though you push out the hand, and wag the head, I shall cause this word to cleave to you. And behold, the more you struggle and fight against it, the more burdensome shall it become. Pressing hard upon your chest, entering in, even to the piercing of your heart. For you, O rebellious children, have indeed grown very fat, having engorged yourselves as the sluggard, even as the rich man, who sits at his own table to be a glutton, for he partakes only of that which is pleasing in his own eyes, and seasoned by his hire. So also do you, O churches of men, for you seek after every seductive and deceiving spirit, to satisfy your itching ears, embracing only that which you perceive frees you from all accountability, that you may continue to walk in the deceits of your flesh, as you seek to fulfill every hidden lust of your corrupted hearts. Thus you do always push out the hand against the truth, hating that which brings conviction, resisting the purging of your souls.